it's true that I'm always my initial uh, approach to dream analysis is to find the solution to the surface current issue that you are attempting to problem solve. But really, the reason why I do dream analysis is because we don't want to get stuck in our same knee-jerk, over-exercised responses to life situations. And so I thought that today I would take a little time to talk about how is it that we can go deeper into the dream. And I often tell people, if you say to me that there's gold under the earth here, I'm gonna be very excited about that, but I'm gonna to need to know where would we start digging? And the surface reason why a dream was triggered this week, that's where you can start digging. Because once you solve today's problem, you can look back at the dream and start digging to where you go deeper. That's what I'm going to talk about today. Freud's free association. And so here's how you do it. You sit yourself in a comfortable chair and sit back and close your eyes and think about the dream you just had. That's what you want to think about. Maybe you're going to think about the story of the dream. Maybe it's the feelings, but whatever it is, you want to focus on that and ask yourself questions like, where in my life did I feel this way before? Where does this, what, what does this remind me of? And you know, um, bingo balls, that big cage of bingo balls or lottery balls, I'm saying to you now, and I want you to trust me on this, they are like all those memories and associations that are sitting in your vast database called the unconscious. Every single memory and association that you ever had. And I want you to trust me here that the right bingo ball, the right memory that fits today's dream is going to pop out. So you don't want to have a judgment about what you think about. What you want to do is try and think back to childhood and what the dream today reminds you of from back then, because that's the route to find out where your initial knee-jerk responses come from. And there's no way that you can change them until you know where they come from. So the next thing I want to say, and I'll give you an example, Annie. Annie has a dream that her dad passed away and she's the person who has to go and tell her seven siblings that the father died. And so really, I'm working quickly here because I want you to know that really this dream was a metaphor related to the fact that all those siblings were in Montreal visiting and Annie felt responsible for their good time. And so when she thought back using Freud's free association, because she was like a wreck, feeling so responsible for everybody's good time. So I guess the main word is responsible. Where does that come from? Um, and so when she thought back, she thought back to when she was a child, really only about 11 years old, and her parents were always going out and always leaving her, an 11-year-old, responsible for all these multitude of siblings. And so when you get down into the gold, and that's the place where you can now look at your memory as the adult in you, and you can look back, which we did. And I asked Annie, who's an adult now, is this something that you would do with your, with one of your children? Do you think it's right? Would you put your child at 11 or 12 years old responsible for all those younger siblings? And she said, no, I, I would never do that. So once you are looking at your memory as an adult, 
you are now in the advantageous position of being the adult to your inner child. And once you've nailed it, like once you've attached it, a shift happens. It is unavoidable that the shift happens. And because you now say to yourself as the adult that you wouldn't do something like that to an 11 year old, now you can bring that back to the current situation where Annie gets to say to herself, she gets to let herself off the hook and not feel so responsible for everybody's good time in Montreal. And so now what is she doing? She's letting go of her knee-jerk, over-exercised part about always feeling responsible for everybody. And now she can shift and give herself a new behavior to exercise in the gym. Let me know how this resonates with you.